Hello viewers, if driving a BMW you're likely familiar with this dreadful spine chilling sound. This chime might mean the temperature outside is very low, but if it comes accompanied by a drivetrain malfunction message on the iDrive display, then you certainly have a serious problem on your hands. So let's see what might be causing it. The drivetrain malfunction warning message in a BMW means there is an issue with the engine or the transmission, which includes the gearbox and the four-wheel drive system if fitted. And as a result, which you'll probably notice when pressing the throttle, the car will be down on power. But why does this happen? Well, you see, the car CCU monitors all vital running parameters through a series of sensors. And if it notices something's off, not just slightly, but seriously off, it'll trigger a so-called limp home mode, which BMW calls drivetrain malfunction. This limits the engine's power output by not allowing it to rev up too high and shutting down the turbocharger, which most newer BMWs have. By doing so, the ECU reduces the chances of serious damage to the engine or transmission, while still leaving you the ability to drive moderately and, as the name says, limp your way home. Because the BMW engines are so complex, the drivetrain malfunction warning can be caused by anything from bad spark plugs or coils, defective sensors, timing or turbocharger issues, to fuel delivery or transmission-related problems. So let's take a closer look at each of these things and see what's what. First off, the spark plugs might be fouled with carbon buildups, preventing them from producing a strong spark to ignite the mixture inside the cylinders. This usually happens when they haven't been changed in a while or if the engine is running rich. But even if they are new, you must know BMWs are very picky when it comes to spark plugs. In many cases, some cheap aftermarket ones won't work well and you need either OEM items or those made by some reputable brands. Similarly, we have the ignition coils, which generate high voltage current to fire up the spark plugs. And that will not happen if the coil inside it breaks, causing a misfire in the corresponding cylinder, in which case, besides the drivetrain malfunction warning, you'll have a flashing check engine light on the dashboard. From my experience, the main reason why the ignition coils fail is dirty, fouled plugs, which make coils work a bit harder to create a spark. For the last 15 years, all BMW engines have used a direct fuel injection system with injectors fitted directly into the cylinder head. These are far more elaborate pieces of engineering than those standard injectors mounted on the intake manifold and, consequently, more likely to fail. One of the main problems here is dirt buildup on the injector's nozzle, which obstructs the flow of finely atomized fuel and messes up the mixture, causing a lean or rich running condition. Similarly, what comes hand in hand with direct fuel injectors is the high pressure fuel pump, which feeds them with highly pressurized gasoline. These pumps are quite prone to failure. The problem was most prominent on early models such as E90s and E60s 335i, especially if the cars were driven on low quality fuel. In fact, the whole issue resulted in a class action lawsuit and subsequent recalls from the BMW, so that's something you might want to take a look into if having problems with your high pressure fuel pump. Nowadays, practically every BMW has a turbocharger, or a pair of them, which ups the power output while reducing the harmful emissions. The turbo is controlled by wastegates and actuators, and if these start acting up, the ECU will most likely shut down the turbo to prevent engine damage. A similar might happen if the intercooler or connecting hoses are cracked, as this creates a boost leak and air pressure drop inside the intake manifold. Also, I'd mention the catalytic converter, which is located on the exhaust manifold, where it turns toxic gases into less harmful ones. 
But what can happen over time is that it gets clogged with soot and unburned fuel, which chokes the engine and prevents it from running correctly. Diesel cars are very prone to this problem because their exhaust gases are more sooty than their gas-powered counterparts. One common component that can cause significant problems on all BMW's engines is Vanos, whose job is to adjust the opening and closing of valves for optimum performance and efficiency. These camshaft position altering devices are known to stick and jam in a certain position, dramatically impacting the engine's operation. This mostly happens as a result of irregular oil changes, which creates gunk buildups inside Vanus actuators and obstructs their movement. While on the subject of camshafts, I must mention the timing chain, which links them to the crankshaft and synchronizes their movement. Unfortunately, these chains on most BMWs can stretch over time and misalign this connection. When the car CCU notices this deviation through crank and camshaft position sensors, it will trigger a limp home mode and warn you with a drivetrain malfunction message. Moving along to the transmission. If your car is automatic, any issues with its operation are likely to send it into some sort of a fail-safe mode, preventing any damage to its sensitive internal components. The same goes for the all-wheel drive system, which in a BMW is called X-Drive and is continuously controlled by the vehicle's onboard computers. Lastly, I'd like to mention various sensors, which an average BMW has a bucket load of. This can be the MAF on the intake side, the oxygen probes on the exhaust, and anything in between. And there is a lot there, camshaft sensors, pressure sensors, temperature sensors, so I won't go explaining each of them in detail, as we already have this covered in our previous videos. Instead, let's see what to do when the drivetrain malfunction error pops up, and how to figure out what's causing it. Now, when the drivetrain malfunction warning appears in your BMW, the first thing you're likely to notice is that the car is down on power. And while driving like that is possible, it's not very pleasant and it may be difficult to keep up the pace. So what you want to do is find a nice and safe place to pull over, preferably a gas station or something similar, shut off the engine and then restart it. In most cases, this will bring the engine back from the limp mode and restore its full power. Still, this is not a permanent solution, as whatever caused the problem may trigger the drivetrain malfunction error again. But if you're lucky, it'll give you a chance to get to your destination more easily while driving a bit more moderately to avoid stressing the engine and transmission too much. I must, however, warn you there is a chance the car might refuse to restart after you've shut it down. This is not that common, and it only happens when there is a serious issue with the engine. And to be honest, in such a situation, it's better to have the car towed than to risk causing more damage to it while trying to drive it that way. Lastly, I'd like to address the question all of you must have. How to get rid of the drivetrain malfunction warning and fix whatever's causing it? Well, due to the complexity of these cars and the sheer number of components that may trigger this message and consequent limp mode, there is no simple answer here. Instead, you'll have to start by hooking up your BMW to a diagnostic tool and checking the store trouble codes, as this will give you some idea of what's bothering it. Still, keep in mind that cheap code readers can only see generic trouble codes, and sometimes this only shows part of the overall picture. This is why it would be best to use a more elaborate device, capable of accessing so-called manufacturer-specific codes, which cover a broader range of potential errors. Once you've retrieved the trouble codes, use them to do a thorough online search for your specific model and the engine it has. It's best if you know the BMW's designation for it. This can be N20, N52, B58 and so on. If you're not sure what engine your car has, leave the question in the comment section below 
and we'll try to get back with an answer. The thing is, the trouble code won't necessarily pinpoint the exact cause of the problem. For instance, this car, when I bought it, would occasionally get a drivetrain malfunction warning accompanied by exhaust vanus trouble code. But the real issue here was a stretch timing chain which interfered with vanus's operation. So that's why you need to do your homework and research the specific situation at hand to avoid misdiagnosing a problem and consequent unnecessary repairs. So, fellow BMW owners, that would be all about the drivetrain malfunction warning, why it pops up and how to deal with it. I hope this video was helpful and if so, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends. On the other hand, if you're having some different issues with your BMW or any other vehicle for that matter, be sure to check other videos here or visit our site mechanicbase.com for detailed automotive repair guides. Bye!